Nope, I didn't get it. Let me see if I can get it again. I'm going to turn my camera around. Okay. Here we go. We're going to the back. And I'm going to turn the camera around to see if you can see the light. See that light and dark over there? It's real dark up there. And it's light down here. That's what actually happens when tornadoes, you know, come. And I've had, this is my third video. And I hope I get this one right, y'all. Because the first time I didn't even have the John Brown thing recorded. And like I said, it's starting to rain. And the wind is starting to pick up. Now you can see that. Pinky is picking up a little bit too. I hope it passes over. But the weatherman did say something about, uh, I don't know what I'm getting at. I don't know what I'm getting on this camera now, y'all. I mean, I am getting worse instead of better. But I'm still working on it, you know. Because I wasn't planning to see how the wind is picking up in the front now. It's picking up. I haven't heard any thunder yet. But the weatherman did say we would be getting some this afternoon. But look at that. See that part of the sky right there? That's blue. That's gray. And the, and the trees are really whistling out, rustling, rustling out here. I don't see any people. Well, I see some people across the street over there. And over here, it looks like where the, where the uh, uh, let's see if I can get over here. It looks like this is where the damage is over here. That's, that was from the back part of the house. And, like I said, I had on the same, I had on the same clothes as I had. Well, no, I don't. I think I got a different shirt on than I had on yesterday. But, I was not intended to video anything until I looked out the window. Because I was cleaning out. I was clean. I was looking at my, um, as you can see, I got my junk food. I went to the store again today, y'all. Uh, and let me tell you what I think I did. I, uh, oh, I think, let me see the old brother. Scared to touch this thing. They had uh, potatoes like, you know, you buy one, you get one free. Well, I think I paid full price for both of these. And I got me some onions. And I said, I'm going to take these potatoes back because I looked at my receipt. And I, and you know, got me some eye drops finally. That's what I really had to go to the store for because my eyes have been bothering me uh, lately here. And I bought myself some. Where's that watermelon at? That watermelon is horrible. I guess I should have waited a few more weeks before I bought some. But I just... There's my watermelon now. Don't that look horrible? Yes, it does. <sighs> but I had a taste for watermelon ever since, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I had where the old brother, see a gnat, where he came from, and these watermelons gonna bring them on, y'all. Ever since I had went to Target yesterday. See, it looks like it's breaking up, y'all. And so when I went to the store today, like I said, I, I wanted some, you know, watermelon. I was thinking about watermelon. They had a little tiny watermelon at uh, Ferraro's, which is right next to Target. <laughs> that little watermelon was about this big, y'all. And they talking about some fine 99. I said, you got to be kidding. <sighs> I'm looking for the truck, y'all, that wouldn't be out there to claim they come from North Carolina. I think the last time I brought one of them, I think the watermelon was $15. I will pay $15 if it's a good one. But that one there, that I bought, oh, I don't usually like to buy a watermelon that's already cut. Because I don't know just how clean these people are. Yeah. 
Plus that looked like something black was on one piece of that well enough. I mean, it didn't look like a book or nothing like that. It just looked like, a, <laughs> looked like something that might have come off a piece of, you know how ash come off a cigarette and, it's, and it looks uh, black? Well, that's what it looked like was on part of my watermelon like down there. And I said, no, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I ain't going to eat that part. So that's what you've seen left. And it wasn't really that sweet. But I tell you, I've had a lot better. I've had a lot better. But we shall get a watermelon from the guy that has the truck. Whenever he shows up, because he used to have come over here and he had he go down north. He said he's from North Carolina, and he goes way down to North Carolina pick up, and he's got this big truck. I mean, like a not a pickup. It's bigger than a pickup truck. You know, like the little pickup trucks and uh, the Ram Silverado, whatever those kind of trucks. It's bigger than those, and uh, it's like a it's got the what do you call it the Planks on the side. I forgot what that, the rails on the side. They're like wooden. You know, just like we used to have our south. Like sometimes it's bigger. It's, I just put it this way. It's bigger than a pickup truck. Twice as big maybe or three times or whatever big if you want to count the front and the back all told. And uh, he used to come up here and I mean he has that thing with watermelons. And I know he be making some money because people be buying them like they ain't going to never grow another watermelon ever. And I was right there in them. But I haven't bought one in a while. And the last time I bought one was when I had a cookout. And, you know, and I haven't had a cookout in four Well, my grandson had cooked out, but, you know, I, I gave him. Uh, contra you know, I, I made contributions to the cookout, but they were the one that was cooking out. But the one that I actually was running, you know, sponsoring, which I sponsored this one too, the one that he was doing, you know, because I bought all the food, whatever they wanted, because they had came up from North Carolina, whatever they wanted, I bought. Hey, that rain's coming down pretty good, because I hear it on the windowsill now. Look at that. And, like I said, I haven't had a, I haven't had a cookout since uh, then. And that's been about five years since I actually had my own, you know, cookout and everything. The one that way I got all the food ready, you know, I was the uh, cheese. I don't know, I haven't seen any lightning yet, y'all. I'm thinking I may have to get off this phone because, you know, I don't play around with thunder and lightning. That's one thing I don't do. But I got my window open uh, still. And what else did I buy? You know, when I go to the store and I forget, I bought me some Tide. Because I didn't have a low on detergent, so I got me some Tide. I already put that away. And I had to buy some drops for my eyes. Because my eyes had been bothering me, you know, like burning, like an itchy, like. And so I bought some Sistine. A little bottle of sixteen like this usually costs about seventeen, eighteen dollars, but it was on sale today. And it had well, it had the claim it was on sale for twelve dollars and something. But you know, this every day at most places is twelve dollars. Target, I think, is twelve dollars. I don't know. It's been a while since I bought that size. But uh, how much did that sixteen cost? Do 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 do. Watermelon cost five dollars. Boy, they get rich all this stuff. I didn't know it was that much. But at sixteen, uh, I paid five dollars and thirty six cents, which is normally a lot more. They said I had a savings of eight dollars and three cents. Oh, so the price, the original price was $13.39. So it must have been the other side that I used to pay like $18 for. Or maybe because I ordered it from Amazon. But anyway, it only cost me $5.36. And my tide was $12.94. And they had the uh, the original price as $14.79. And then they took a dollar and eighty-five cents off. 
And those potatoes, I thought they were twofer, you know. And I let her. The two ninety nine, when the potatoes, that four ninety nine. Let me see if y'all can see this. See, does I have a problem reading right here? Four ninety nine twice. I don't see where they took off a of four ninety nine at. So I may have to go back to the store <laughs> again because I thought I ain't nowhere in the world I need that many potatoes. Not for little old me. Well, not little old me. Big old round, out of shape me. So on that a video I made yesterday when I went and turned that light switch off and that great big old butt was up there, I said, I say it ain't so. How did that happen? I just got to learn how to edit and take stuff out of the freaking video. But anyway, y'all, ain't no spring chicken. I mean, ain't no small fry. Let's see, what's this? So let me go into the store too much. Oh, this is when I went to the store before. Big what? I don't know. And hey, oh, how y'all? How y'all doing this afternoon? I was in here. Let me show you what I was doing before I got rudely interrupted. I was cleaning up my little basket. See all my stuff I got in my little basket. It's it, it just boys and girls. It's nothing but another junk drawer. And while I was in there. I found my, what do you call that stuff, the, the mascara. I found my mascara while I was in here, looking around, trying to see if there's anything in here that I could throw away. And lo and behold, there's my mascara. And guess what? Mm. The clock stopped, y'all, and I went and put me some mascara on because I had no idea where the mascara was. And when I bought this last year, it might be too old to use, I don't know. I uh, had bought two. They were two. You get two for the price of one in the thing, you know, in the same uh, packaging. And I got like, oh my goodness. Let me put this back down here. And I got these pens, all these over here. I don't know what writes, what doesn't write. Uh, but I keep it right down there because the stuff in there that I, you know, want to have available to myself. And I had cleaned off my, and I usually put my little spy glass. I usually keep that in there too. So in case I, you know, got something that I want to see. And I put that in there. It's just a little junk drawer, y'all. That's all it is. I got more junk drawers than anything else. My dresser has one, two, I don't know, maybe four the junk drawers. And then another junk drawer on the other side over there where the TV is. It's nothing but an old line of junk drawers. It's just stuff. And like I say, like I say, one of these days when I get smart, I will go in there and just toss everything that I haven't used and ain't going to use. I'm just going to toss. Wait a minute now. I think this little brother. Oh, I didn't get my, did I, what I do with the one that I just bought? Oh, this is the, this is my old bottle, which it said it expired 2023, and then it says 01, so I'm assuming that's January. So, you know, it's, I don't want to trust anything like this with my eyes. I don't play, I don't want to play around with my eyes. If the stuff is old, you know, too old to be dropping in my eye. Matter of fact, I got to throw the, I think this is, yeah, 2021, 20, because the other one was, I mean, 20, 2023. And the one I just bought was 2024. So I got to get rid of this one. And I think I must have put the other one in the um, bathroom already. I tell you, y'all, I be going. I be going to the store on a daily almost. I ain't buying nothing else. I got popsicles up there already. They had from my Dollar, uh, the, uh, Dollar Tree the other week. Last week, I think. 
that rain sounds so good. I feel like I want to just get underneath the covers. And I'm feeling a little chilly. You know, it's good weather, so I wouldn't have to. I'm not going to be cold. I mean, hot if I get in the bed. Just lay down, you know, listen to the rain. But should I? Mother, may I? What you going on, Google? <laughs> I gotta stop saying that, but I thought it was, oh, man. What is going on, y'all? I don't know. The only thing I know is the south. Let me show you how beautiful this rain is raining out here right about now. Look at this. Can y'all see that? Let me look out the door. Can you see what is happening out here? Now you will tell me that I don't want to lay down. Are you trying to tell me that I don't want to take a nap and listen to the rain? <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, y'all, right here. This is what I'm talking about. Ain't no thunder. I don't hear any. The only thing I hear is just downpour. Downpouring. Woo! I mean, it is coming down. It's slowing up now, though. See how suddenly it slows up. Yeah, it's coming down there for... It's still raining pretty good, but not like it was that, you know, that downpour. It's like the sky opened up in one spot, and it was coming out. So, you know, I could sleep. I could sleep. Just relax. Meditate. Why that's going on? I remember when we was down south, you know, like a storm or something would come up. My mother would tell us to get somewhere and sit down and be quiet while the Lord is doing his work. And you know, when we was down south, I don't know if I said this on another video. I got to get ready to hang up because I'm already at 17. Uh, I don't know how crazy this phone is going to act. But uh, we used to unplug the TV, unplug everything electrical. And down south, some certain houses would have what they call lightning rods. You know, they said instead of the lightning hit your house, it would hit that rod and 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 then it would go down into the ground. I think that's the way it went. <sighs> but I've always been afraid of it. And I think my mother was a little scary of it too. I remember one time, um, I don't know, I must have been about six, seven, but I still remember it very, very well. I think it was Hurricane Connie or Hurricane Hazel, one of those. Back in the 50s. Now I was a little girl back in the 50s. I was born in 40, 46. And we lived in like a little house with a shack. I think it had a tin roof on it. You know, like when it would rain, you could hear rain hitting that tin roof. Real good. And the hurricane came. And, you know, me and my mother and my three brothers and one sister, where there was five of us, two girls and three boys. And hurricane, the wind was blowing. And, you know, my mother was a young woman at that time. As I think about it, you know, today, she was a young woman with five kids. I think all of us were born before she was even 20 years old. Can you imagine that? Now, because when I was 24 years old, I had four kids. And all of us was born before she was 20. You know, we were like, we call it, I call it doorstep. One year, ne next year, another baby. Next year, another baby. Next year, another baby. And then between me and my brother, that was a whole year. And I think I told this before, too. I don't just about told you all my life history. But uh, between me and my brother that passed away was about a year and a half. And in between them, and between, up between us, my mother said she had had a set of twins that had died. That's too many babies. But anyway, we was there and the hurricane came and the wind was blowing real hard. And we lived in like a little shack. It was like four uh, rooms in that little house. Uh, we had a room we sat in, we had a kitchen, 
We had what we call a back room, and then we had what we call the boys' room. And, of course, the heat was only in the one room. That was the room that we slept in, which was the sitting room uh, slash bedroom because me, my mother, and my sister used to sleep in the same bed in there. Anyhow, we, that was a sitting room. There used to be a couch. Uh, we used to call it a studio couch back in the day. A studio couch was in there, and I believe there was a dresser over there somewhere and a heater and maybe a little table, you know, a little side table or something like that might have been sitting in there. I can't really visualize the whole thing. Like I said, I was a little girl. But I remember that hurricane and all that wind. I mean, it was blowing, shaking that little house we was in. And the little house was made of, bur uh, well, what do you call it, planks, you know, like uh I don't know what they call them uh, when you build a house that's made of wood. It's, you know, plank. And it's sitting on top of blocks. You know, you could, matter of fact, my brother and I used to go under the house and play under the house. Can you imagine if that house had fell off those blocks, whatever? You know, it had maybe a block here, a block there, you know, a pillow, a little pillow. But the house was raised up on it. I don't, I never understood how the heck to get the house on top of those blocks. I don't know. I don't know if the house was raised up like that to prevent snakes from getting in, under your house. I never could figure it out. But I was a little girl. I could care less. <laughs> I never was not thinking about nothing like that. Me and my brother go up under there and play. And we would play with the brick, a, a brick, you know, which was sometimes the mortar and bricks were part of the block that they would build the house out of. And then in some cases they had uh, cement blocks, which a lot of people today call them cinder blocks, you know. And But the house I think that we had, and I've even seen houses sitting on top of a stump, you know, like a log stump. It's raised up. Anyway, we was underneath that house playing. We would have us a brick and make a road because we didn't have toys. We didn't complain. We were happy children, I tell ya. But anyway, get back to the storm. We we're terrified because my mother's scared. You know, she's young. And all of a sudden, we hear this real loud noise. Bam! My mother said, come on, kids, let's go. And we went, we were out there in the hurricane, y'all. We lived, maybe there was a field between our house and I guess that was the landlord's house that we were living in. You know, he was, um, they were white and we were black living there to help out, you know, with the farm or something like that when the seasons came. And my mother said, come on to kids, let's go. And we jumped, I remember jumping off the back of the porch. We went out the back door of the house. And we were traveling. I, and my, you know, I could run. Believe it or not, I could really run fast to be so, you know, a, young, a little lady, a, a little girl. I could keep up. I could put it, put it to you like that. They could not run me. They couldn't leave me behind. You know, like, you know, yeah, you leave the little one behind. Uh-uh. Couldn't leave me behind because I keep up with you. And so <laughs> we went over there. We knocked on. His name was Mr. Eastdale. I think it was Mr. Eastdale we used to call him. It probably was Esdale, but we used to say Mr. Eastdale. You know how you talk down south. You know, you don't get it right. And we stayed there until the the, uh, the storm subsided. And when we went back home, what had happened was the top of the porch. There was, you know, like a porch like that that come down that slants down on the house. Okay, say this is the body of the house and here's a porch that slants down like that. So you sit out there under the porch, on the porch, and you got a little shelter there. That had flipped back. That's what had made that loud noise. The wind was so strong until it took that whole top of that porch and just slammed it back right on top of the house. That's when my mother had said, come on, kids, let's go. And, you know, uh, I was from North Carolina. We lived down on the coast uh, most of the time by, I think it was Aiden Snow Hill. 
And, you know, that's pretty it's coastal. You know, it's not inland like my um, my kids, my grandkids. They live, like, uh, in Charlotte, like, in the middle of North Carolina. We was living, like, on the coastal. Oh, that's a car. I thought that was uh, some thunder or something sitting here talking about a storm. But I think our storm has gone. Was it still raining out here? What's going on, y'all? What is going on, Google? Yeah, let the rain stop. But anyway, y'all, uh, that was just a little excitement that happened in my childhood. And um, I got more stories to tell you. You know, a little stuff to tell you that happened, you know, when I was in a childhood, when we was down, down home and everything. Until then, I shall talk to you again soon.